Today I'm making a vegetarian taco. Hang with me here if you're not vegetarian. You can add meat if you want. But this thing is easy to make. You whip out your tacos quickly. They're fast and so delicious. I can't tell you how impressed I was. I, I have to admit, I haven't tried these uh, until just recently, and I'm guessing that you probably haven't either. So we've got to try these together. You've got to make these. They are so good. We're using a poblano pepper with some cheese, caramelized onions, and we're gonna add a little bit of pico at the end and some sour cream. They are out of this world. You're gonna love it. I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after my chef joke. Okay, so here's our first chef joke. Now, you know what that means, right? That there'll be a second one a little bit later, so stay tuned. All right, so why didn't the cheese want to be sliced? It had greater plans. <laughs> Let's start off talking about our pepper that we're going to be using for this recipe. Now, I'm using a poblano pepper here. This is a perfect pepper to use. It has a nice flavor compared to, say, an Anaheim chili pepper. I think this is perfect to use. It's got just the right amount of heat so that it's not overpowering. It just gives your lips a little kiss of heat and you know it's there and it doesn't overpower. We're gonna take this and we are gonna char it first. We're gonna blacken all of the skin by putting it onto, I have a gas stove, so I'm gonna put it right over the flame directly. And we're gonna just rotate it as it cooks. And once it's all black, then we take it out. We'll place it in a bowl and cover it with plastic wrap and steam it for about 10 minutes. Another option, if you don't have a gas stove, is to do it in your oven. You could just place these on a baking sheet and put it under the broiler and just broil them until they're all blackened and then we'll take the next step. So while the pepper is steaming over there, we're gonna just slice up some onion. Okay, so I have my nice big griddle here. And I've got two burners under this pan. One's here and one's here. And I only have this one lit right now because we're gonna caramelize our onions here. And then I'm gonna push them to the back to just keep them warm until I'm ready to add them to my dish. So I've got this on pretty high here. I'm gonna add some avocado oil to the pan. Avocado oil uh, works well with higher heat. I'm gonna spread my oil around a little bit. Put that onion in there and we're gonna just cook this up until it starts to get a little color to it. Now this is what we're looking for, a nice little golden brown. And these are just about done, so I'm going to push them back to the back part of this pan to keep them warm. All right, so now we're gonna get our Monterey Jack. I'm using Monterey Jack because it's such a nice melting cheese and that's what you wanna use, depending on, you know, whatever, if you have another preference, that's fine but this works beautifully. So I'm gonna cut a couple of nice chunks here. You kinda wanna go a little, you know, plenty of cheese, let's just say that. Okay, and then I'm just gonna cut this up into little cubes just to make it a little bit easier to melt. You could grate it if you wanted to as well. but I think these little chunks work great. I'll place that on my plate, take it over to the pan, and let's get cooking. So now we have our pepper that's been steaming for about 10 minutes, and we're gonna peel the skin off. Some people like to leave it on. I don't particularly care for all the black stuff in there, but if I like to leave a little bit just because it's nice and flavorful. So take a couple of paper towels and rub your pepper. You see how it just falls right off? And that steaming makes and, and charring makes this pepper nice and soft and very pliable and even more delicious. I don't like to rinse my pepper under the water to get this off because it just takes all the flavor down the drain. So just rub it, get most of it off. If there's a few pieces left like that, no big deal. Now you're gonna take the pepper and we're gonna cut off the stem. Okay, and then I'm gonna make a nice little slit to open up the pepper and to remove the seeds. You really don't want the seeds in there. If you had one or two, no big deal, but uh, you really wanna get rid of them. I, I think they mess up the texture of your taco. And so I take them out. Now we just slice our pepper into bite-sized pieces.
Okay, I've got my pan going. I've got both pans going now. This is gonna heat up my tortilla, and this is gonna cook up our pepper and cheese. So I'm gonna add just a smidgen of oil here. That's avocado oil. And we're gonna place peppers on there. Come on, peppers. And our cheese. And we're gonna cook this. So you just want to stir this up. And I keep it moving so that it does not stick and burn. It gets very sticky, but using a couple of tools together can help you keep it mixing and melting. Now while that's going, I'm going to take one of my tortillas here. I'm going to place a little bit of oil in the pan. You can leave it dry if you wish. Things are coming together nicely. I'm going to add in the onions to this, or at least some of that. I don't know about you, but man, this looks mighty good to me. And I really have enough here for two tacos, in my opinion, depending on how big your tortillas are. Look at that. That caramelization, that brown good stuff going on. Oh my god, this is so delicious. My other pan here is heating up with the oil. Take the tortilla. I like to get it just a little bit oily. Adds nice flavor to that. Try and separate some of this and place it on my taco. Oh, look at this. Oh, my and here's taco number two. Then I finish it off with some pico de gallo and some sour cream. And there you have it. These are quick, fast, easy, simple, Time for a taste test, right? Look at this. Goodness. Oh, God. Mm. These are rockin'. A definite must try. If you think you don't like chilies in your tacos, put that, put that idea aside. These are great. Man, they are so flavorful, so easy to put together. You're gonna be making these on a regular basis if you try these just once. Those are so darn good. Wow, those tacos cooked up so quick and fast and easy that I almost forgot to do chef joke number two. We can't do that. All right, here we go. What did the manager say to the cheese thief? That's nacho cheese. Try these out. Let me know what you think down in the comments. If you like the video, smash the like button for me. And we'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching.